guys. So today we're just gonna do a day in the life or a vlog of my life with Camilla. And first, it's like really early morning. It just got light. And first, we're gonna do some grooming on Camilla. We're just gonna do this brush, and as we do it, we're just gonna make sure she has no scratches, lumps, and bumps, or anything like that. Just make sure it's all good. This is just our morning routine. Feel her legs and her belly. And repeat on the other side. So now we're just gonna use Canal's favorite brush. Let's do a little more. And she really likes this one right here. There you go. And then we'll do that on the, on the other side too. Now we're gonna brush her mane, which is quite a mess. And after we're done grooming her, we're just gonna check her belly. And it doesn't look any bigger. Got the jiggly part. Still pretty jiggly. I think the fold's like right here. It's like sticking out. Back up. You can't even see it. Her butt is like in the way. I don't know. All of a sudden, her butt is like really big right here. I don't know. But her udder. Oh my. They're different again. They're. Ow, Canola. Don't flick me. Quit it. Um, it's like the. Like this is like sticking down. Perfectly down. They used to be kind of like tilted in. It's not as hard and like still like full right here. So we'll definitely be keeping a really good eye on that because it's starting to like look like an actual normal mare's udder. But I've never felt one before. But I don't know. That's that's all I can say. But yeah, we're gonna just gonna take Canelo on a walk now. Pretty good. She's usually really excited to go. So we are half on the halfway mark of our walk. So we're at the end. We're just gonna go back the way we came. And she was actually pretty excited to go, like the first 12 feet. And then she started to get not tired, but just like normally walking. But she was excited the first little bit. So, yeah. So we're just going to walk her back in, in a little bit after she has a little snack. So, Canelo was pretty good on the ride, or on the walk back. She's just a little bit tired now, a little bit. Now we're just going to move Canelo to get her rope and her bucket. And we're just going to move her rope. So now we're just going to check her rope, which is super long, but okay. We'll just Make sure it's all good. Because you don't want her to it to break. It looks pretty good except So this is what it I just tied like a really easy knot there. Just to this bush. Because it's like stuck there pretty good. And then we're gonna put her water over here. Whoa. Okay. We're just gonna put it in this little spot. Because it's kind of like she can't really knock it over because there's like these branches and this big thing. So, yeah, she's all good. We're going to have to do a load of water because she only has one gallon. So, yeah. Now we're just going to dump the jug. Well, we're only going to use one because we'll save the other one for later. We're just going to dump it in her bucket. Hi, guys. So... We have this bunch of like reins, leather straps and stuff because I had to change my bit on Canal's bridle because it kind of like, I don't really know what happened to it. It just kind of got messed up. So we're just going to try and figure out because like this one doesn't have like some straps on it and stuff like my other one. So we're just going to walk up to Canela and like try and figure it out because this new bit is like different. Here Canela has it on. Okay, so it has like this now. It looks pretty good. So here she is. Her throat latched up. 
is done up. Here's her chin strap. There it is. It's pretty good. Doesn't really need a nose band, but maybe if I find some like a strap laying around, I'll use it. But yeah, she looks all good now. Hi guys, so I just had lunch and that's pretty much what I've done. Hi guys, um, so I've just been doing some homework, cleaning my room, doing some other chores. So I'll get back to you guys when I do some other stuff with Kanal. So I'm walking up to Kanal. She's over there behind those bushes. I was coming up to give her a bath to come, well to bring her down to our yard to give her a bath. And the clouds decided that they were going to probably rain on us. So I'm not gonna give her a bath because it's, it looks like it's gonna rain. So, so but I am gonna come up and check on her and stuff and um, yeah, and I, so while there's thunder, So for the last little bit, I've been filming this video that will come out soon. It's a tour of my room. Um, it's going to come out hopefully soon because we're supposed to get our internet back tomorrow. So hopefully, if we do, then I'll be able to post it then. But um, yeah, I have to wait until then. So we're just going to check on Canela and then move her. And then we're going to go back down. Get her grooming kit and her grain and then do um, evening stuff. I don't really know why she's so sweaty. Like, let's check this out. And then over there's Claudia and Cowboy, which we'll go check late in a little bit. Hi, girl. Like, I don't know why she's so drenched in sweat. You okay? Good girl. Let's check her out just real quick. Oh, it's really buggy. Let's go to the other side. And she's super sweaty. You okay? Um, it's like, whoa, this part is like really hanging out now. Like this morning it wasn't like that, but I don't really know. So, we're just gonna go over here and check on little cowboy because he's super cute. Looks like the owners just came because it was green. Come here. Oh, so cute. Come here. Come here, baby. Good boy. He's like super friendly. He's like so tiny, weeny baby. Isn't it sucky? Yeah. He has some teeth. I can feel them. Hi. But he's like super tiny and super cute. But we have work to do. So check you and your mommy out. He looks good. Happy. Do you wanna go say hi to Kanala? Come here. Come here. Come here. No? Okay, well we'll just move Kanala. Um and then I'm not going to film move, me moving her because I don't have anyone to film me right now. So and it's we're really just hard to do it now one handed because I'm grain. just using my phone to so film. Gonna scoop some grain so I'm just going to do it and then like, but I will film the grooming and grain, but, other, but I'm just going to move her without filming it. Then we're just going to use this little cup or this little spoon thing to give her a little bit of just a tiny bit of like some corn oil stuff and she doesn't really like it so we can just only use like a little bit so then we're just going to dump it in her bucket and then we're going to put the lid on it Then we're going to give her half of one of these little packets, and I used one half yesterday, so um, there's still this package is only ha only has half, so we're just going to give her a little bit of that. And Billy, our cat, is peeking in there, seeing if it's his food. 
Then we're going to put some coconut oil in her grain. Then we're just going to mix it up really good because she doesn't like some of the stuff that we put in it. And sometimes I'll put apples or carrots chopped up in it, but today I didn't. I should do it nice and simple. So we've got canola's grain. Here's canola. I always like shake it around so that if she ever does get loose or something. Oh, she nickered. Then she'll come to the noise. So, because she always loves her grain. But I always make sure that she learns that she has to wait. Ah, ah. Patience. So I'm just going to make her follow me a little bit for it. But enough that she doesn't get too close to me. Because she has to learn patience. There she goes. Sorry, that was so bumpy. I was trying to walk through the bushes, but there she's eating her grain. And we're just going to give her her evening groom while she eats. So, yeah. First, we're just going to use this brush, give her a once-overs, make sure everything's good. Then we're going to use her favorite brush. I would do it on her face where she likes it, but she's a little busy right now. Usually I wait to give her her green until after I'm done grooming, but I didn't want to make two trips today. Because it's been like really hot today. But, yeah, get her belly and her legs. There is, she is. That's good. So then we're going to check her udder. And right, let's go to the other side. So like... The jiggly amount hasn't really gotten any more jiggly, but I don't think so. So, her udder is like back to being wide and hard right here. Oh no, it's been changing like really a lot, like since this morning, it's changed so much. But yeah, that's pretty much my day. The only thing I have less left to do is eat dinner. So I'm out here with Canella, and um, so I just did some editing and stuff, just editing, but she's good, so yeah.